One of the most important steps in setting up Confluent Cloud is creating network connections to your existing infrastructure, whether on-premise or with one of the major cloud providers. If you've ever configured networking, I imagine you know it can be quite complex and time-consuming. Due to that fact, this video is meant to be more of a wayfinding introduction, helping you to get through the configuration steps faster and get your data streaming. Here, I've logged into Confluent Cloud, and I'm about to create a new environment. I'll click Add Cloud Environment and give it a name. Our org is using Lord of the Rings themes, so in this case, I'll call it The One Ring. Next, you'll need to select the cluster type. Basic is a great place to start if you're looking to test your configuration or to try using Kafka for the first time. If you're planning on taking your environment into production, you should select Standard or Above. Be sure to take a look at the link below if you aren't sure which option would be the best for you. From a networking perspective, Basic and Standard provide a public endpoint to connect to your producers or consumers, while Enterprise and Dedicated both provide options for private networking. Let's start by selecting a standard cluster. I'll select AWS and the US West 2 region and click Continue. You can give your cluster a name and see other configuration options that come with creating a standard cluster. I'm happy with how it looks, so I'll click Launch Cluster. If we now click on Networking on the left side, you'll see a list of the egress IPs. These are the IPs that data will be coming from. You should be able to take these and add them to an allow list so your machines will be able to receive data as a sync. At this point, you'd want to go and set up your connectors to start getting data flowing in and out of your cluster. Let's go back and look to see what it looks like to create an enterprise cluster. I'll come back to the one ring and click Add Cluster. This time, I'll select Enterprise and click Begin Configuration. Again, I'll select the Oregon US West 2 region and click Continue. Here's where things are a little different. It now asks me to set up a private link. If you already have one set up, then it'll give you the option of using that connection for your networking. Since I don't, let's go ahead and click Configure Now. You can now enter your details to connect Confluent Cloud to AWS. If I go back and this time select Microsoft Azure and click Continue, you will see a similar screen where you can enter in your connection details. If we go back and select Dedicated, you get the most configuration options, Internet, Transit Gateway, VPC Peering, and Private Link. By clicking on each one, you can either enter in your configuration details or link out to documentation. If I go back and this time select Google Cloud and click Continue, this time you'll have access to the Internet, Private Service Connect, or VPC Peering. And one more time in Azure, if I click Continue, you'll see you have access to the Internet, VNet Peering, or Private Link. Hopefully this provides a primer to getting networking set up with Confluent Cloud. Be sure to check out our other videos on Confluent Cloud, including a course that goes into the details of setting up and configuring networking. Until next time, happy streaming.